children today we are going to start a new chapter that is monuments our heritage now in this chapter we are going to learn about our heritage and some of the monuments now what do you mean by heritage heritage is a person's unique inherited sense of family identity the values traditions culture and artifacts handed down by previous generations are known as heritage heritage are of two types natural heritage and cultural heritage in this chapter we are going to learn about these monuments the first one is kutub minar kutub minar the highest stone tower in india stands at a height of 72.5 meters and was erected by kutubuddin aibak as a tower of victory kutubuddin completed the first story while the rest were completed by his successor iltutmis next is char minar the char minar is a monument and mosque in hyderabad india the structure was built in 1591 ad it is the most famous building of hyderabad and also one of the most famous buildings in india it was built by muhammad kul kutub shahi to celebrate the end of a deadly plague plague is a disease the char char minar lies near the bank of river musi it is close to lat bazar and makka masjid char minar is taken from two words char and minar which translates as four towers in english this is the picture of char minar next is gol gumbaz gol gumbaz at bijapur is the mausoleum of king muhammad adil shah adil shah dynasty construction of the tomb located in vijaypura karnataka india it was started in 1626 and completed in the year of 1656 the name is based on gola gumata derived from gol gumbad meaning circular dome it follows the style of indo islamic architecture even a slight whisper by someone standing in its gallery can be heard everywhere else in the gallery and if somebody claps the sound of it will echo several times this is the picture of gol gumbaz Next is our Taj Mahal. The Taj Mahal is an ivory white marble mausoleum of the southern bank of the river Yamuna in India city of Agra. It was commissioned in 1632 by the Mughal emperor Shah Jahan to house the tomb of his favorite wife Mumtaz Mahal. It also houses the tomb of Shah Jahan himself. The tomb is the centerpiece of a 17 acre or we can say 42 acre complex which includes a mosque and a guest house and is set in formal gardens bounded on three sides by a crenellated wall. A crenellated wall has gap in the top or opening through which to fire at the attacker. This is the picture of Taj Mahal. You all know about it. Next is Red Fort. The Red Fort is a historic fort in the city of Delhi in India that served as the main residence of the Mughal emperors. Emperor Shah Jahan commissions construction of the red fort on 12 may 1638 when he decided to shift his capital from agra to delhi originally red and white its design is credited to architect ustad ahmad lahori who also constructed the taj mahal it was constructed between may 1639 and april 1648 this, this is the red fort you can see it in the picture next is hawa mahal hawa mahal its english translation is the palace of winds or the palace of breeze is a palace in jaipur india approximately 300 kilometers from the capital of the city of delhi 
built from the red and pink sandstone the palace sits on the edge of the city palace jaipur then extends to the zinia a uh, or women's chamber this is the picture of hawa mahal next let's move on to the caves of ajanta and elora ajanta is 100 km from the elora caves which contain hindu jain and buddhist caves the last dating from a period similar to ajanta the ajanta style is also found in the elora caves and other cities such as the elephant caves aurangabad caves etc Next is Sanchi Stupa. Sanchi Stupa is a Buddhist complex famous for its great stupa on a hilltop at Sanchi town in the district state of Madhya Pradesh, India. It is located in 46 km northeast of Bhopal, capital of Madhya Pradesh. This is the picture of it. Next let's move on to Meenakshi temple Meenakshi temple is a historic Hindu temple located on the southern bank of Vaigai river in the temple city of Madurai Tamil Nadu India Next is the Sun Temple of Konarak. Konarak Surya Mandir is a 13th century CE Sun Temple at Konarak about 35 km northeast from Puri on the coastline of Odisha India. The temple is attributed to King Narasimha Deva I of the Eastern Ganga dynasty about 1250 CE. There are many modern monument in our India. Victoria Memorial is one of them. The Victoria Memorial is a large marble building in Kolkata, West Bengal, India, which was built 1906 and 1921. It is dedicated to the memory of Queen Victoria, the Empress of India, and is now a museum under at the auspices of the ministry of culture the memorial lies on the maidan near jahallal nehru road this is the picture of victoria memorial now let's move on to the next monument next is the gateway of india the gateway of india is in mumbai it was built at the harbor when all the ships used to dock It was built specially in the honor of the visit of British King George V to India in 1911. Now, how we can take care of the monuments? As mentioned earlier, these monuments are part of our rich cultural heritage. Hence, we should take care of them. Do not throw garbage around these monuments. We should not. It's very bad. Do not write on the walls or break any part of the monuments because of they are so ancient and uh, if we even try we cannot make them again we must follow the rules and directions written there do not do any unlawful activities inside these monuments whatever is written suppose no cameras are allowed do not throw the plastic you should maintain all of those things which are mentioned in the board next buy admission tickets whenever asked for their maintenance you should buy the admission tickets so that you know they can keep all those monuments clean and you know well, will be ready for you next is health government and archaeological survey of india in protecting them that is it children so there are some keywords like depict depict means to represent or show something in a picture or story suppose i will tell you depict a picture from ramayana that means from ramayan they have you know collected some stories and you know use it over there as a drawing next is stupa stupa means a dome shaped building milestone a significant stage or event in the development of something Okay suppose i'll tell you that the milestone is now he can crawl this child can crawl that means he has achieved his milestone that means a stage or event in the developmental age now studded means decorated or adorned with metal or precious object in a pattern unesco heritage site 
a place such as building fort city complex that is listed by the united nation of educational scientific and cultural organization as being of special cultural or physical significance so what is the full form of unesco union national educational scientific and cultural organization okay children so that is it please read this chapter properly and we are going to discuss a lot about this chapter in the class thank you